Hello everyone, my beautiful, precious brothers and sisters. This will warm your heart. You will be blessed by this video. I promise you that. The salvation of Homeless Dave. You may remember Dave, who I met on Friday. It was the 4th of July. I was out working my ministry. And I had bags and bags of clothing and a cooler filled with bottled water. I had the Gospel of John. I had numerous, numerous Bibles, and I was going to distribute them within the city of Flint. And I met Dave on the corner of the exit ramp for 475, the interstate, and one thing led to another. And I gave Dave a ride, and we made sure they had food and clothing. And I met his brother, Steve. Stay tuned. First, I want to show you all the city of Flint and the poverty and the need within the city of Flint. Let's take a look at the city of Flint. And then I'm going to share something amazing with all of you. My wife, Christy, she goes out with me quite often with the ministry. She was with me today and she was in tears as she filmed what I'm about to show you. The Salvation of Homeless Day. Let's take a look at the city of Flint. Hello everyone, it is Saturday, Saturday, July 17th. And we're in the city of Flint, Flint, Michigan. I just want to show you what Flint looks like. I think it's a very long way. All right, now I hope this really does bless you. Christy and I, we stopped off. We had the coolers filled with water. I had a few uh, cans of pop in there as well. And we stopped off at Raleigh's and we got a number of uh, pre-cooked meals, uh, french fries and hamburgers to distribute to the homeless. And here I find, once again, at the corner of the interstate, 475, Dave, who I've told you all about. you got to remember they are staying. There are two houses provided by an attorney by the name of Michael off of Fenton Road and a motorhome. And we have joined now together, teamed up, to fight the poverty and to help those in need, the poor, the destitute, and the homeless within the city of Flint. And I meet Dave, and you, as you will see, I meet his brother, uh, Steve. Now, Steve, I truly believe, has a mental illness, and he has the spirit, uh, a, a demon of alcohol, and maybe a few other demons as well. And he was not ready to give his life up to Christ. And I'm going to work with Dave's brother, Steve, on what you are about to see, the salvation of homeless Dave. Stay tuned. And we're, we just came from, um, anybody over there in the house? Uh, just, probably just, uh, I get I want you to have one. I wouldn't share that with you, but I got another Bible. All right. Yeah, I might, I might need that. I might need to seriously read it, because I ain't going to read the whole Bible. You read it. You've got time to read it, you read it. I've never read, I've never read the whole thing. I brought you some books. Okay. Some pride, there's two books. You're not diabetic, are you? No. Would you okay if I ask you a couple of questions for our ministry? Yeah. You don't mind being on the camera? I don't care. Okay. How long have you been home? I've been home for, for probably since, ever since I was about 17. So you just went out on the street? Probably about 23 years. Now, the city of Flint, the city of Burton, there's a lot of homelessness. Why 
Why do you think that is? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And, and, uh, is this a home in heaven? Yes. Yeah, I that's, remember that that's my brother Steve right there. Steve, you. how are you? You remember Steve, my brother. I've got some lunch for you in my truck. I'm going to get you some lunch in a moment, okay? This is Dave. Do you remember Dave? If you're going to give me lunch, give me a fur burger and fries. Thank you for watching. I hope this has truly, truly blessed you. Blessed you all today. Father God has his hand upon this ministry. 
And if you would like to give, if you feel led by the Ruach HaKadosh, the Holy Spirit, to give to this ministry, there will be a link below where you can give. God bless you.